Now, from painting the stars to painting among them. Well, that's the ambition of young artist Max Denison Pender. He hopes to join Japanese billionaire Yusaka Mizawa's mission around the moon in 2023 and paint in space. Mr Mizawa has invited eight members of the public to join him for a trip around the moon on Elon Musk's SpaceX flight in two years' time. And Max is hoping to be one of them. Let us join him now. Good afternoon. Why on earth do you want to leave terra firma? <laughs> Good afternoon, Nick. Thank you for having me. Um, so it's been my ambition since I can remember. Uh, when I was young, I had stars all over my bedroom um, and being being a painter since um, since I can remember. So the idea to, say, paint in space, that, you know, you, you're in this nothingness. Like, like no, one, no artist has ever been there. And one of my favourite artists, like um, Turner, he used to tie himself to the mast of a boat to see the storm. I can imagine if he was in our time today, he would jump at the opportunity, and I just can't miss the opportunity like that. So I am saying to you, sacrifice out, take me to space. What do you think it's going to be like? Um, I think it's going to be something out of this world. I mean, the perspective that only, you know, a very small handful of people on this earth have ever witnessed to then be translated by my paintbrush. Um, you know, it's an experience that, that will, will change my mind and change my, you know, my sort of imagination, my concept of the world forever. Uh, and, and I think the, my, my original ambition was to be the first artist on the moon. And so I thought this is the best way to be most qualified to get on the moon. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Have you put your application form in? I have, I have. And um, I started my campaign a week before he announced he wanted to let all creatives come on come on board. So he's now released a uh, sort of sign up so all creatives can come. And I'm saying that I need to be that artist he takes. And uh, it, one of the biggest things that drew me to it was the fact that he wants to uh, use this gig to promote world peace. And for me, that means a lot. And I thought, you know, I, I'm the man. I, I, I've dedicated my whole life to my painting. I'm here seven days a week. And if anyone's going to be on that bloody rocket, it's going to be me. Well, <laughs> so, uh, we, uh, yeah, I know you're excited, but we uh, maybe a step too far slightly with that word. So uh, uh, oh. let's, uh, yes, don't worry. Um, now, I want to ask you, what's been the reaction from people to your aspiration? Maybe perhaps tell me what your mum thought. Um, so I've, I've been receiving quite a lot of support, really. Uh, Piers Morgan very kindly got behind me and shared the video, uh, a, a few influencers. Um, and really, I think people appreciate uh, dream big. You know, I think um, so many people aren't willing to dare dream big. And for me, whether or not this campaign gets his attention, um, I hope it does. But in the end of the day, I, I was told all of my life that being an artist was a bad idea. Uh, you can't make a living out of it. And I've I've sort of proved everyone wrong. So I'm all about telling everyone to chase their dreams. And so if this is a message I can get across by doing this, that's a win for me. And your mum in particular, what uh, what's family had to say? Uh, so they're, they're all behind it. My, I mean, my mum was... Uh, they, they are like, OK, Max, can you leave some paintings with us in case the, uh, the, the, the trip, in case it's a one-way ticket? <laughs> but, you know, it's all in love. Um, but uh, they're, they're very much live, live life as it, as it is. You know, you've got to... Life is short. I could go and get a coffee from a more cafe and, and get hit by a bus, you know? So that's just how life is. And, I, and you can't... You know, I don't want to have any regrets. And, um, and I'm truly following all SpaceX's progress. I truly think Elon Musk is the man for the job and he will do this. You know, he's landing a rocket the same size as Big Ben. And it landed last time. And it unfortunately blew up about five minutes after it landed. But, you know, next time round, I think it's going to land. Right, well, good luck. Let us know how you get on. But for now, uh, Max Dennis and Pender, thanks a lot. All the best. Thank you for having me, Nick. Thank you.